hello guys welcome back to my channel uh i'm going to do this energy update uh tarot reading for uh tb uh xq i believe it is um um member juno um i i actually never done like uh in my channel i never done a a, a reading for the members but uh i would like to do this uh this energy update uh for for someone that very uh, kindly uh contacted me and asked me to do a reading for juno so i i'm going to do it um and also i want uh, people to know that i'm also available for personal readings so if you would like to to have your own reading you can contact me and my contact information it's in the description box down below um so let's let's talk a bit about juno's energy um i believe that in this group there are uh, two members remaining uh one of them is chanmin and the other is juno um the the first one chanmin uh, they are both Aquarius signs, but Chanmin is a moon in Pisces, and Juno has um, uh, a moon in Capricorn. So, um, what actually, what I know about Juno is that they, for example, uh, I'm not really into uh, like they. The second generation of k-pop or the first generation of k-pop i don't know much but i know that they have like a long trajectory and they are like very very influential in in the k-pop scene and i know that they both of them uh were hired to be mcs in uh, kingdom legendary war um and actually because of juno's uh uh, personal issues or other um, some scandals that he got involved um, he only participated I believe in the pilot and then eventually Chan Min uh, became the only MC so um, let's see a bit about Juno's energy how he's doing uh, how his process of dealing with his with these rumors or accusations or let's talk a bit about how he's doing um, so of course if there are some uh, fans of this group is I would like to hear from you and I would like to hear your feedback since I do not know much um, so let's go with the tarot cards um, we got the wheel of fortune the ace of pentacles uh, the six of pentacles judgment the eight of swords and the king of cups so and then i have like two other cards that i got from the oracle of the chakras that i will explain a bit later um so let's start with the tarot cards here with the wheel of fortune as the first card is telling me that he is definitely Things are starting to move. Are start. Are, things in his life are starting to uh, progress. To make like a progression. To make a movement. To make a change in his faith is happening. His it's like his his life is starting to move, and it's like his circumstances are starting to change. Probably in the prior months. Um, he probably had experienced some kind of stagnation in his in his life or as we can see in his projects because these uh, these accusations or these these issues that he had actually prevented him or take took the opportunity for him to actually uh, be part of kingdom and being working so obviously probably he had seen a bit of a reduction in the offers that he got so probably he was a bit disappointed by all the the consequences about this um uh, this uh, specific uh, accusations that were against him 
So and now with the wheel of fortune, it's like uh, it's like finally things are starting to shift for him. And here with the ace of pentacles, I can see that the offers uh, for him and possibly a, a kind of uh, progress and and abundance and probably uh, new opportunities are going to start flowing towards his way. He's probably going to to be working and and probably be seen more more often in the in with some kind of, some kind of exposure um and i see him like trying to be really humble and take the opportunities as they come he, there's definitely a kind of anxiety in him he definitely wants to to be working or at least if he was working he now wants to do uh, probably be more active. Uh, I have the feeling that he had been like some kind of in in a like recluded, like in a place where he was by himself, or probably he was advised to stay in a place where he wouldn't be bothered, or where you know, like uh, like uh, the media and stuff. He he was uh, advised to stay on the low, you know, to not uh, get. Uh, too much at attention to himself to remain humble and to try not to get into any more like uh, uh, um, situations where he could uh, potentially be discovered or or being still like talked about you know um, because I have the feeling that uh, yes that these things that happened to him even though he sees the responsibility of his actions and he's aware that he had been reckless in the past there's also a lot of manipulation from the media there's a lot of like this like this witch hunt you know where they go after a certain celebrities especially celebrities that have some kind of trajectory you know it's like they the, the media is so eager to bring them down or to get some dirt on them, you know, to talk about them or to create some uh, really uh, uncomfortable situations for them to to be found guilty somehow or to be condemned by the by the public. So this is very this is very sad, actually, because actually I can see him like all his life he had worked really hard to keep like a very clean image and now all of a sudden it feels like he is now begging for work you know or is paying for someone to give him an opportunity so <clears throat> he feels a bit uh he doesn't feel so happy about it he feels a bit a bit depressed a bit a bit down uh, by the situation but at the same time he knows that changes are coming and a new a new stage in his life is going to come so definitely probably is going to uh, some re resolution is going to come out out of this where probably uh, he will like uh, I don't know if there were some like accusations towards him or some legal matter in, in, in involved in this uh, in this uh, in these accusations, but it's, it looks like things are starting to move, and it's like the public is also going to be very forgiving to him, or probably not going to remember even what happened, because I think that it was very blown out of proportion. Uh, I think that it was like a media stunt, you know, something to to actually like like target him you know and being like oh yes he's this very successful idol let's 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 see what we can get out of him so uh but i think that um uh, this kind of uh the, this kind of situations happen to a lot of idols and sometimes it does happen when you have like a long trajectory you know that sometimes you do need to face this kind of very traumatic situations in order for you to see that actually in the industry nobody is uh, your friend and this is the reality i think that nowadays um i mean that industry had always been um uh, competitive but i think that now if you add to that uh the media the netizens and you know everyone making their own uh, assumptions everyone making their own conspiracies everyone 
or writing uh, like these comments online, you know, and and sometimes spreading misinformation, you know, from a small thing can ha can can grow into a very a toxic kind of uh, or content of a kind of that can really uh, affect the artist very much because of course we know that they are human that they do have flaws that they can make mistakes or that they can be uh, they can have like very um, bad uh, elections you know or choices in life because well we all uh, learn from this uh, but at the same time I don't think in his case, I don't see like uh, like some kind of malicious kind of a, a persona or person or personality. Actually, I see him very hardworking, but at the same time, he is like in that moment where he was caught, uh, he wasn't going through a very happy moment in his life. I think he was struggling a bit with actually not. Uh, feeling really lonely and not knowing how to get out of this dark place where he was emotionally. Uh, so probably he did meet with, with other people and he did try to like uh, probably evade from reality, trying to, uh, I don't know, get out and, and, and go into certain places and trying to like have a drink and share with friends, you know, but... Um, you know that when you are an idol or when you are a former idol, all eyes are on you. So if you stumble a bit, they are going to judge you. They are going to judge you because they are ready for it. They are waiting for it. So I think he was, um, the situation was a bit manipulated and when was a bit exaggerated. Yes, it was. Um and I have the feeling that even though he will move on from this, uh, from this period of him actually doing a lot of inner work and and being by himself a lot, and also regretting a lot about all the opportunities that he missed or all the opportunities that he he didn't get because of this, um, uh, he still feels a bit like I think that this uh, King of Cups is charming because it reminds me of his Moon in Pisces. I think that he feels he feels like uh, he feels a bit sorry for Chamin in the sense that you know that Chamin uh, had to MC alone and probably he he was watching Kingdom as as the as the show was aired, so he would probably see like uh, uh, Chamin like. Uh, doing uh, being an MC and having for example I think there was one day where he had um, like other idols like doing MC with him and he was like oh I wish I could have been there to play my part so you didn't have to work extra hard so he definitely feels a really really guilty about how things were um, but um, and, and he wishes for for Chami to to forgive him. Um, so and here with the with the oracle cards, uh, he got culpability and expansion. So definitely he will struggle. He will have to uh, have to do a lot of inner work when it comes to accepting his culpability. I feel I feel like he feels really guilty. This is a feeling that I get that is very overwhelming, um, especially because he doesn't understand how this got so, how how this how big this expand, you know how all these uh, very unfortunate events happened to himself because he was always trying to do the right thing, so he doesn't know in what moment he lost control of his reality. But like I said, I think that this was necessary for him to actually realize that sometimes there are things that you cannot control, that sometimes there are things that you cannot hide either. Because if you are feeling, if, if you're feeling sad or if you're going through a moment where you feel lost or where you feel like you are not feeling really good emotionally, um, 
you are like in automatic. So I think that he was living his life in automatic. He didn't thought much about um, the consequences of his actions because he wasn't really present in the moment. He just wanted to uh, be social, you know, and, and get out. And I think that the quarantine also was really tough on him. There are a lot of things uh, going through in his mind in that time. He really wanted to, uh, he was really worried about his financial future. So there was a lot of inner fear and also a lot of uncertainty. He also wanted to have like, um, that's why when he got this chance to be an MC next to Chamin uh, in Kingdom, he was like, oh, he was really excited about it. But then all of the sudden, you know, this thing happened and he he had to uh, he had to just not, not participate, you know, and you and I think that this this is where the culpability comes from, from from that that experience of having to let go of that opportunity that apart and besides it was so meaningful for him because he was going to work with his i believe that chanmin is not is not only a member but also is like a very dear friend to him so he definitely feels like he disappointed chanmin and um so this is where the culpability comes from but here also with the expansion he definitely needs to work on letting go of that culpability or also to do some kind of therapy or do some kind of inner work about why he is feeling so guilty about because i think that this doesn't have to do with what happened i think that this is more a culpability about other things about other other traumas that he has from his past about a lot of uh he has a lot of trust issues he it's like he had been working all his life to build this reality that he has as an idol and somehow he he never was able to connect with true emotion because he's not very emotional probably a uh, chanmin is more emotional than him uh, so he always concentrated on his career and now seeing that he ha he's he's like struggling so much to get a, an opportunity to work you know for him it's really hard it's it's like a huge um, like uh, like it's like a, like it's like a punch to his ego so he definitely needs to work on who he is behind the idol mask you know behind the idol image because he's struggling with his identity he doesn't know who he is uh, or what, what his attributes are beside being an idol so and here with the expansion i believe that it's really important for him to actually get really in touch with himself and and going through this journey of uh, getting to know himself for real because I believe that a lot of opportunities for expansion are going to come to him but I think that this time he needs to change the approach he needs to change but because probably this happiness or these very successful opportunities for me are not going to come from what he's expecting it from to come I think that it's not this very satisfaction that he's looking for is not going to come from his profession. It's actually going to come from uh, fulfilling a very important relationship with someone. I think he definitely needs to find love. He needs to f open himself up and be available to find love and let love find him. So I think that... Uh, in this this expansion is a sp expansion of his awareness i think he will be able to grow a lot to mature a lot but i think that this success or this feeling of success that he is looking for is going to come from having a meaningful connection with someone and not from the industry or from expecting the industry to recognize his value 
his trajectory, his work, because obviously they are respected. Uh, people, uh, people love their work. People know who they are. But it's like he needs to let go. He spent so much time trying to build a a good trajectory for himself or a good image of himself. That I think that when these uh, these events happened, that somehow stained his reputation. This is where I think he he was able to look around and see that no one was there to support him. Maybe one or two people were there to be like, okay, we are here for you. Just let us know what you need us to do uh, if you want to talk to someone. But there were a lot of people that they were so-called, quote-unquote, friends or acquaintances from the industry that turned their back on him. So I think that this is why it's important for him to realize that the success that he's going to gain in the next months is not going to come from the industry or from the profession. It's going to come from a very intimate relationship and from him to building his own love story and for him to be able to allow himself to experience love because i believe that uh chan min already done it so i think that it's it's too no stun it's too no turn now it's too no turn to find love to find a fulfillment in in a relationship in an honest and 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 transparent and loving and accepting relationship where he can be seen as this uh human being and, and as this man and not only as this idol, because I believe that this this idol uh, actually is a very shallow, is a very empty kind of base, kind of mask, kind of um, um, decoration. You know that of course it it's really nice to to feel the love of fans. It's really nice to feel the recognition of your peers. And of course, you need to work, but at the same time, you cannot just focus only on that. And I think that for him, it was really hard to actually not uh, letting go of the control of always wanting to um, achieve a lot of things for himself because he is a moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn moons always tend to be really ambitious and they tend to focus a lot on the... On the um, on the professional side of their lives and sometimes they the 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 intimate relationships they tend to leave them like on the side you know like oh when i have whenever i have time i will work on my relationships or i will see if i can make some time my busy agenda to see if if i can go on a date but it's like for them like uh love it's it's not easy to to actually be like oh yes i want to i want to be successful in this too and they are really picky also this is also this is an honest uh uh interpretation they are really picky in 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 love because they also want someone as ambitious as them uh and very hard working so this is all I, all i have for juno I hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.